If you're using Docker on Windows, there's probably one major issue you've run into, and that is disk usage, especially if you spin up containers a lot and are developing your own environment, etc. There's one major reason for this, and that is simply that Docker on Windows usually runs under WSL, meaning you're running a Linux operating system in a virtual machine and then running Docker inside of this. While it makes things perform a little bit better, when you get to clearing out your Docker of extra containers and stuff like that, a lot of things are left over or something you're not able to shrink. Let me show you what I mean. If I open up a file browser and head across to percentage, local app data percentage, followed by Docker and WSL, then data, you'll find one major file over here. On my PC, it's taking up 88 gigabytes. It can grow up to, I think, 256 or maybe even past that. If you're running a small SSD, for example, with Windows, this big file over here is going to be eating up a huge chunk of space. Essentially, while you're working in Docker, spinning up containers, building things, etc. This little virtual image slowly grows and grows until it reaches, I think, 256 gigabytes. Even if you open up a terminal and clear out some of your old hanging Docker images and containers, so for example, Docker system DF will show us a bunch of information about how much space is being used. Previously, this was around 80 gigabytes, but in order to clear leftover containers and images and things like that that aren't being used, you can run Docker system prune. And when you hit enter, it'll tell you that it'll remove all stopped containers, networks not being used, dangling images not attached to processes, and and build cache. This last one was taking up a huge amount of space for me. If you enter Y, you'll see a bunch of deleted containers and things like that, saving you a ton of space besides what is already running. You can do this manually for each of these by running Docker Container Prune, Docker Image Prune, Docker Network Prune, and finally Docker Volume Prune. These are the four different commands that we can use, or we can just do all four in one. Now, even though I deleted 70 or so gigabytes of leftover Docker stuff, the virtual drive file is still taking up a huge amount of space at least on Linux, where things are running natively. When you delete things in the Docker environment, they're gone. But here, even though we're technically deleting it inside of this virtual hard drive, the virtual hard drive dynamically expands the more data we put in it. What we can do is shrink this so it takes up only as much space as it needs. Just a quick note, it's unlikely that something will go wrong, but it's a good idea to back up this file here if you have anything mission critical running on your WSL. All right, let's talk about shrinking our WSL virtual drive. First of all, we need to open up a terminal and we need to run WSL hyphen hyphen list hyphen hyphen verbose. And in here, we're looking for our different images. And in this case, we're looking at Docker data and desktop. What you need to do is make sure all of these here are version two. If they are, then we can continue. What you need to do is close your WSL. So WSL hyphen hyphen shut down. And upon hitting enter, your WSL environment will close. Now that it's closed, we can go ahead and run disk part, which is the disk partitioning program. And in here, we'll be able to run a few more commands. First of all, we need to know where this virtual drive is located. The first location I've already shown you is percentage local app data, Docker, WSL data. And in here we have the Docker specific virtual hard drive. We can also navigate to percentage local app data, percentage followed by packages. Then in here, we're going to look for our WSL operating system. So for example, Ubuntu is canonical group limited. Debian is the Debian project. We'll open this folder and in the local state folder here, you'll find your WSL drive here. Both of these could be bloated, not just one. This is where your WSL system resides, all of your Ubuntu or Linux apps, etc. And this one in local app data Docker is for Docker in particular. We'll take one of these locations in my case, I'll use the Docker one here and we'll copy the path. Then in our disk part, we'll use select vdisk file equals and inside of quotation marks, we'll paste in the folder backslash followed by the name of the file. In this case, ext4.vhdx. So ext4.vhdx, close quotes, and we'll hit enter. This will select the file and now we can start interacting with it. We'll run compact vdisk and just hit enter. That is if I could spell. So compact VDisk. 
This command essentially gets rid of all of the blank space in your virtual drive, shrinking it down to the actual size. As it's a dynamic disk, whenever you try and write more to it, it'll simply just expand in the future, with just getting rid of empty space here. Essentially, that 88 gigs has only about 10 used for me, and the rest is just reserved or empty space. Running this command gets rid of that, and when it's done, then you can have a look at your folder and admire all of your space saved. For me, it went from 88 gigs to just 49. I do have a couple of big containers in here, but we've already saved a huge amount of space. Now we can do this as well for our WSL. So once again, I'll use select VDisk, file equals, and inside of quotes, we'll paste in the path, followed by the file name, ext4.vhdx, and once again, compact VDisk, We'll let this run through to completion, and there we go. Our WSL drive hasn't changed much, but overall we've saved 40 or 50 gigabytes, which is great. That takes me not really out of the red, but of course if yours is taking up 200 gigabytes plus, this is going to save you a lot of headache. Anyways, that's really it for this quick video. If Docker is quietly eating up a ton of space in the background, or even just your WSL instance, this video should help you fix it. Anyways, that's really it. So hopefully this video helped you. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.